Turn on your Atom stack. Connect your computer to the engraver underscore Wi-Fi hotspot. Open a browser and enter the base IP address of our Atom stack. We see an error in the index.html.gz file. To fix it, press the interface button. In the window that opens, find the index.html.gz file. Downloading this file. Now select the downloaded file, index.html.gz, and upload. And press the button, go to ESP3D interface. Now we have ESP3D interface working over Wi-Fi. And you can manage Atom stack. The GRBL tab contains the GRBL configuration settings. The ESP3D tab contains networks, and here we will change the settings. First, we will specify the name of our router and its password. So that Atom stack connects to the router. After we change the operating mode from access point to client. Don't forget to press set. Reload Atom stack. Check that the engraver Wi-Fi point is missing. Now we go to our router and look for the connected device, Gerblesp. You need to bind the MAC address to the IP and remember the IP address. In the browser, open the IP address that we copied. And we see the ESP3D interface. Now you need to download and install the program, Tibo VSP Manager, the virtual serial port. After launch it, add a new virtual port. You can choose any free one from the list. Below select host name and enter the IP address. The port address can be seen on the ESP3D settings tab in the Telnet port field. Default 8080 here. By default, set speed to 115,200. Reload Atom Stack. Let's check the new virtual port. You need to wait a bit, sometimes it takes up to 30 to 40 seconds. We start Lightburn and open the console tab. It should show waiting for connection. OK. Otherwise, close your browser and restart Lightburn. Now everything works exactly the same as with a USB cable. In order to connect the phone to Atom Stack, you need to change the radio mode to Access Point. This is in the ESP3D settings window.